We're working developing news tonight from the State House. When our rights are under attack, what do we do? This afternoon, local advocates rallied in support of women's reproductive rights, including the right to an abortion. Today's rally comes amid pledges from President Donald Trump to defund Planned Parenthood and to appoint pro-life justices to the Supreme Court. And now, two state lawmakers are proposing legislation that would integrate Roe v. Wade into Rhode Island state law. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now with the developing details. Well, Mike Shannon, those at the rally today tell me that today's demonstration and the legislation they're proposing is in response to recent decisions and promises made by President Trump. They hope to safeguard state rights in case federal ones are put at risk. A push to protect reproductive freedoms. If we take him at his word, we have a reason to be concerned. A packed State House rotunda Wednesday afternoon. Both women and men pleading with elected officials to take action now. Rhode Island does not have a law in the books that makes abortion legal. We need to put into law a protection for our rights in case something happens to Roe v. Wade. This is the beginning of our battle. Members of the House and Senate introduced the Reproductive Health Care Act on Wednesday. The bill would take the principles of Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court decision that protects the right to abortion. I am a young person who has never lived in a country where abortion has been illegal. Uh, so I think it makes a lot of sense to try to protect abortion or the right to abortion as much as possible in Rhode Island by passing this reproductive health care bill. But the Rhode Island Catholic Conference disagrees, sending a statement to Eyewitness News calling the proposed legislation a direct attack upon defenseless and innocent human life. Planned Parenthood representatives call it a universal issue that deserves attention. This is a human rights issue that affects all of us, all of our families, our entire community. And Planned Parenthood representatives tell us the bill currently has 36 co-sponsors in the House but are in the process of gathering Senate support. I did reach out to House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello today. His office says the bill needs to go through the committee process before he'll comment. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.